Okay, I took the the collar off the bit because I was preventing the aluminum chips from being self-cleaned out of the bit. So I'll just finish up these holes. Okay, we have wood chips coming. Good sign. Wood chips. And take a look at this grouping of holes we just made. And so we have nice, nice holes. These nylon insulators for this, I have different lengths. So this is the wrong length for the shelf, of course, but they would come in the back side. <clears throat> for some shelves, you can put them in from the front side. It just depends on the spacing that you need to maintain. And the lug will insert in there and be bolted on. So that looks very, very good. So we see this. Whoops, the two through holes, you see that? All right, let's move the clamp to another uh, line and proceed. Take those out. And you can see I went through and drilled actually into my hardwood, which is okay. For this thin aluminum shell, the hardwood actually helps from the standpoint of being able to clamp onto the shell. So we get it lined up with that V notch and center line. And don't pitch your fingers. And there, that's clamped. So that is clamped on. So we can drill these holes. Let me get this one laid out of the way. Control these holes. Very good. It cleaned itself out. This alloy in the shell is kind of gummy, which is interesting. It's a uh, drum shell manufactured by Trick. I'm not sure how old it is or what particular alloy. It was something I picked up off uh, eBay. And All right. So another set of holes. All right. Very good. All right. I'm going to proceed. <laughs> 